stay tuned until later in the video to see Chainbridge Honey Farm in Berwick upon Tweed. But first of all, we've got a rainy walk around Kelso for you. Proposed design shops that I wouldn't really shop in. Bath face. It's all very lovely. And very nice. Oh wow, this is my first time in Kelso. The thing is, is we've come here and it's about, just turned about four o'clock so everything is closing. Kelso town was known for its leather working and the production of shoes. The gentry used to come and enjoy the fishing and the races. We're gonna go and get a cup of tea and something to eat. I actually love walking around in this weather. I'm a bit weird. A lovely big hotel there. Many handsome country houses were built around Kelso, including Flores Castle, the home of the Dukes of Roxburgh. We're going to go and see a bee farm today. Very excited. Very excited. And there's some retro buses here. Hoods up because of the British weather. Ooh, oh, nearly in Scotland, Scottish weather. Because the, the weather's been absolutely crap. So let's go and see how uh, some honey is made, see some bees, and hopefully. Buy some honey. Let's go see the honeybees. Cool. A little tea room on the bus. Sadly, the cafe's not open today, which is a shame. You can see, look at that old seat. You can see into the bus. beehives are on there. I'm sure that's not all of them but there's a lot of them on there. So where we live, we've been working on 
getting more flowers and build my little bit of an ecosystem up for getting bees eventually. So I've been researching into bees for quite a few years and um, we're getting to the point where we're, where we're ready to get a little hive and hopefully a little colony from someone. This is a lovely place. I'll show you the little bee buzzing around. I'll show you exactly where we are on the Google Maps. I suddenly took on the spirit animal of Winnie the Pooh. I got a bit enthusiastic and picked up a dirty spoon, a used spoon instead of a clean spoon, which was a bit gross. But the honey was still tasty and I'll show you exactly what honeys were bought in just a second. The heather honey really had like a bitter aftertaste. It got you at the back of the tongue. The wildflower honey was beautiful and the mix of the heather and the wildflower together was just elite. If you've enjoyed today's video, please leave a like and a comment. I love to see a comment. I hope you've left this video feeling calmer and have learned something from it. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you again soon.